Hey, my name is Matt Storr and I repair saxophones for a living and today I'm working on a King Super 20 tenor. It's actually the second one of these I've worked on uh, that was previously owned by Charlie Ventura. The story is is that he had quite a few of them, um, lost them in poker games somewhat often, and uh, the early ones that he owned were heavily customized uh, and they got less and less customized over time as King gave him more and more saxophones. So this one is gold plated. Um, it says Charlie Ventura on the pants guard, but not anywhere else. The other one I worked on said it on, I think, the bell, if I remember right, and also on the connecting ring here. Anyhow, notice something interesting on this one. Um, King actually installed from the factory for him. Uh, they're not in use right now, but those are um, you know, bumper felt holders on the low C and on the low E flat. Now I'm not overhauling this instrument, I am just uh, doing some work to try and improve it, but I thought that was interesting that they did actually install those sometimes on the low C and low E flat. Um, those can sometimes be troublesome because the key heights on these, more so in the altos uh, in my experience in the tenors, but the key heights on these can be sort of like artificially kept low. And if you try to maximize it, you can end up where like the bounce of the actuation gives you uh, a click against the key guard. So it looks like King was aware of that problem themselves at one point and um, did customize one of their own horns for one of their particular clients uh, in order to ameliorate that problem. So anyhow, just thought as sort of a geeky note, if it's something you were ever finding a problem with and wanted to do, and you wanted to do it the way King did it, this is where they did it and how they did it.